I'm here with head coach Marty Hoffman of the University of Minnesota Morris Cougars. Uh, coming off a game Saturday, lost to Northwestern. Um, coach, offensively, Brandon Carlson's kind of coming into his own eight catches again this week. A lot of rushing yards. Is he a guy you look to get the ball to offensively? Is he emerging as one of your top guys? Yeah, he certainly uh, continues each week to, to to really get better and better. And so, you know, it, it's... He's been just continuing to put up yards, and obviously guys that produce, you want to get the balls in their hand, you know, and so whoever that might be, whether it's a wide out or, in, in Carlson's case, he's kind of a dual threat guy for us in, in our style of offense. It works out pretty well. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's a thing that as we move forward, we got to continue to try to get the ball in the playmaker's hands. I mean, I think anytime you're thinking about offense, I mean, that's kind of what, uh, you know, you want to be able to do. And so Carlson's starting to emerge that way. Uh, he, he, he continues to have great practice weeks. Um, and, and continues to make plays even in practice. So, um, yeah, I mean, he's a guy that will continue to try to uh, find different ways to get him the rock. Offensively on Saturday, uh, moved the ball well, had trouble finishing in the red zone. Talk a little bit about what uh, the offense needs to improve and what they did well. <clears throat> yeah, I think, you know, those are situations, obviously, that we want touchdowns. And, and obviously we had to settle for some field goals, a lot of field goals, to be honest. Um, and, and that's something that this week we really tried to emphasize and just have some competitive red zone periods because, to be honest, defensively, we weren't great in the red zone either. I mean, they're two for two the week before that. Uh, Crown put up some points on us in, down in the red zone. And so, um, you know, really from, from both perspectives, we got to just be better red zone across the board because, again, if we can hold uh, 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 Northwestern to a field goal, at least in one of those possessions that they get down there in the third quarter, uh, it's a different ball game, you know. And then, obviously, from an offensive standpoint, anytime we get the ball – <clears throat> down there as many times as we did, uh, we need points, whether it's, you know, we move the ball there or otherwise we get a takeaway and, and, and really give our offense the ball there. Um, we need touchdowns, you know, and so uh, really emphasizing this week uh, with some just some red zone situations, trying to be, you know, a little bit more um, conscious with our offensive line of being able to have more of an attitude down there, you know, really starting to understand that one's third and one, fourth and goal, whatever. Um, you know, it's it, it's it's not a schematical thing necessarily. It's just, you know, having a different type of edge and different type of mentality. And so um, trying to get that done. And then drawing up, just doing some different things uh, offensively to help uh, try, try to create some more red zone touchdowns. Defensively, five turnovers on Saturday. Uh, talk a little bit about your defense. Seems to really take the ball away from people and be one of the tops in the league. Yeah, you know, we're, we're trailing Northwestern yet in takeaways. That's somebody that we got to pass, um, you know, and certainly even nationally. I mean, we've, we've started to kind of creep up that ladder. But um, for us, you know, they kind of come in bunches here, you know, and again, trying to level that off. And so versus Crown, we had a few. And now, obviously, versus Northwestern, anytime you're taking the ball away, and you're giving your offense a chance. And, and we got to continue to do that. Um, you know, again, emphasizing stopping the run. And, and again, for the most part, we're able to do that. Now we give up the 99 yarder, which will be in the record books for them forever. Um, but it, it, it's something you take that run away, and, and we hold that team to 78 yards rushing. And um, you know, obviously in football we can't do that. Um, you know, the yards are what they are. Um, but again, we just got to continue to emphasize those those aspects. And part of that is again stopping the run, takeaways, red zone defense, third downs. You know, those are really the the emphasis that that we just continue to preach here. And, continue to put our guys in those situations throughout the week. Once again, uh, we end up with a special teamer of the week. You want to talk a little bit about your kicker? Yeah, Austin, I mean, for, for the most part, you know, obviously the two misses stick out, you know, and, and, and those aren't, you know, one, one is him getting it out too low. The other one's the hole, you know, and, and so the operation, you know, I'm preaching that this week to those guys and our from our short, from our snapper to our holder to our kicker, um, it's all three phases, and then obviously as a unit, it's the protection. And we talk to our guys a lot in that group that every time we step on the field, points are being determined one way or the other, whether we're putting them up or they're keeping them off. And it's really one of the only plays in football that that is hands down the case. And so, um, you know, and so talking talk with Austin, just still working with him, I and mean, he's still a freshman kicker, you know, and, and just, you know, helping him drill, drill some things, got some things to help him try to uh, make sure that we're getting underneath football to get it up. Because, um, again, that's something that even the ones he made, I mean, those are low line drive kicks. Um, you know, and so we can't have those, especially as we get close down to the goalpost. You know, when we're further away, it's going to come out a little more because you're trying to drive the ball. But 
for those 25 yard kicks or 23 yard kicks, those are wedge shots. We've got to get those balls up and uh, put them through because we need points every time. And obviously, sitting here hindsight is 2020. You look at it and go, we make one of those, it's tied in. We make another one, we make all six of them, and it's a, it's a win for the Cougs. You know, so, um, but he's a freshman. And, and that's part of learning the college game for, from his standpoint is he's kicking off the ground now. That's not something that you do in high school. So um, that explains a little bit why he's line driving a lot is because he's just not used to getting underneath the ball yet. So, so we've got to lower his, his strike zone and uh, um, you know, continue to give him reps and not lose faith because, again, it's not that whole operation um, from, from Jurgensen to Preston holding the ball to him striking it. I mean, it, it's, it's got to be flawless, and we continue to work that unit pretty much every day of the week. Rolling into this week, we take on Westminster, long bus trip down to Fulton, Missouri. Uh, what are we going to see from the Blue Jays on offense? Offensively, their their offense runs through the quarterback. Um, uh, Mr. White's a good player for him. Uh, he he he's a dual threat guy. He can run the football. They do some zone read stuff, uh, almost exclusively zone run game, um, and then they'll get into some tight end stuff and, and do a little bit more power type football, but. I mean, for, for, for the most part, as their offense goes, he goes. And, you know, Mac, not Mac, excuse me, uh, Martin Luther last week, you know, did a pretty good job in terms of their adjustments and bottling him, him up. And really, you know, he, at times we'll make some throws that, that, that we've got to be able to make plays on. And so, um, you know, it's a, a, a pretty explosive offense. Their wide receiver, number one, uh, is a good player. Uh, the running back runs hard, um, you know, and he's got pretty good vision. And then up front, those offensive linemen that they have do – do what they're asked to do, which is zone. And, and, and so those guys run, and they're athletic, and they can get to the second level. Um, but, again, we're, we're big this week in our gap responsibility. We're certainly very conscious uh, of the quarterback and making sure that we, you know, whether we force him to give it or if we can scheme ways to uh, get some more athleticism on him, um, that's what we got to be able to do. And then the pass game, big points. I mean, that's something that we've got to eliminate. We continue to kind of uh, have about one game, you know, obviously last week, and, and we got to eliminate those. And so – um, very schematically trying to give our guys a chance to get that done. And on the other side of the ball, uh, normally a very athletic defense for Westminster. What will we see from them? About the same. I mean, it's still a, a four-man front for the most part. Now they've mutated a little bit in some three-man stuff, their nickel stuff. Um, but for the most part, they're a, they're a four-man front team. And defensive line-wise, those guys can get after it. And, and it's a, a, a defensive secondary that – is athletic, you know. Sometimes we'll have a letdown here and there, but uh, for for the most part, those guys do a great job. And uh, you know, it's a a group that I think offensively we we we've got to be obviously disciplined and, and kind of establish in the run. Take our take what they give us um, as much as possible, and it's a broken record for me on that front. But again, we we just got to be patient with what we're doing and and continue to hopefully have success like we did offensively last week, this week, and obviously the end result hopefully is better in terms of down in the red zone. And, uh, you know, if, if we can do those things and if we can be good on special teams, real, excuse me, be impactful on special teams, um, we, we should have a nice bus trip home. But um, obviously we, we got to play, play well. Long road trip this Saturday heading down to Fulton, Missouri, taking on Westminster at noon. Hopefully the Cougars can be impactful and you can be impactful in the stands.